unlike the affirmative, would like you to believe, the death penalty is completely justifiable within the realms of morality. Imagine if a person kills your wife, or your husband, or your beloved child. In accordance with the affirmative's plan, you have just given them free food, free health care, and free lodging for the rest of his or hers worthless life. Now imagine this. The American prison system is paid for by your taxes. So in a sense, that murderer who killed someone close to you, you are now paying for his food, his lodging, and his health care. Now you must be thinking, what the hell is with this justice system? Does that sound like a fair trade? No, I think not. That criminal, that murderer who took someone away from you, someone you can never see again, is now essentially getting away with his crime. Yes, he isn't getting punished, he's basically being acquitted. Free food, free lodging, holy smokes, free health care. Sounds great, when can I kill someone? This is simply not right. People who commit a crime that wants the death penalty should in fact get the death penalty. They do not deserve to live. With our opponents plan the complete abolishment of the death penalty, criminals who would normally be sentenced to death would instead get life in prison without parole. In the realms of morality, this makes very little sense whatsoever. The, the affirmative also argues that the death penalty is against the wishes of the Declaration of Independence. This is yet another fallacy. Before, right after, and during the draft, the drafting of the DOI, executions were happening. The Death Penalty Information Center reports that 1,000 executions occurred from 1750 to 1799. Yes, the death penalty has been an integral part of the United States justice system for over 300 years. It is highly unlikely that the Founding Fathers, fathers simply overlooked such an important topic as the death penalty while discussing the Declaration. The affirmative is either implying that the fa Founding Fathers said, oops, death penalty, totally forgot about that, or that they are hypocrites. The Eighth Amendment of the Constitution is as follows. Excessive bail shall not be required, nor excessive fines imposed, nor cruel and unusual punishments inflicted, archives.gov slash constitution. If the lawmakers ratify this amendment while carrying out the death penalty, it means they simply did not find the death penalty as cruel and unusual. As for the... So any arguments made by the affirmative regarding the, con the constitutionality of, death, of capital punishment are rendered invalid. As for the cost of the death penalty being higher than the cost of life in prison, we totally agree. Yes, this is a valid point. But the affirmative's plan is foolish in its attempt to solve the problem. Their plan is basically saying, whenever we see something too expensive, let's just end it. No, not when that thing is an ex essential, integral part of our society. Instead of eliminating the overall, entire overall thing, the negative plan targets the large cost of the death penalty at its root, the appeals. Using a system we call the rule of threes, with their plan, the length of time available for appeals would be shortened drastically. In fact, we would give the criminal a total of three appeals. Hence the name, Rule of Threes. Think of these appeals as timeouts in a football game. You only get a set amount. Otherwise, the inmate is free to have an appeal, and if it doesn't work, use all the appeals to no end. In fact, the average time between conviction and sentencing in 2009 was 169 months, or about 14 years per inmate. Way too long. In conclusion, the affirmative plan is neither desirable nor practical. By abolishing the death penalty, they will have eliminated a key part of our justice system. The justice part. In accordance with the high cost of the death penalty, we have proposed a counter plan to mitigate the cost, and we have debunked all arguments against the death penalty. Death to those who deserve it. Vote for justice, vote for the right thing. Vote negative. Thank you.